in this video i'll be showing you guys how to fix lag on geforce now from stutters to input lag to fps drops and more so one of the main ways you can fix lag on geforce now is to turn on a hidden setting in geforce now so before i do show you guys how to see this hidden setting it's important to note that this is only for windows and this is only for the geforce now app I'm pretty sure that Macs already have this setting enabled by default, but if they don't, then I'll be posting a video on how to do it on Mac soon. So the first thing you're going to do is click on your search icon right over here and search up GeForce Now and click open file location right over here. And now what you're going to do is right click on this as well and click open file location. So now just look for geforcenow.json and it should be right under the actual geforcenow.exe here which is over here geforcenow.json and for some people you might not be able to see it. So if you can't see it what you want to do is simply click view at the top over here and make sure that hidden items is checkmarked. So for most people it's not checkmarked by default. So make sure that you guys do do that. And now what you want to do is just right click on geforcenow.json. And click on properties here. And make sure that read only and hidden are unselected. So I'm pretty sure by default they are unselected. But for some people you might have hidden or read only on. So make sure that both of those are indeed off. So just click OK. And then right click on the same file and click open with and notepad here. Once the file opens up, we're going to change some settings. So the first thing I'm going to change is nv-sdl-ioHID configurable from false to true. So over here, just make sure that this is true here. Also, make sure you don't have any capitals or extra spaces as that might mess up the process. Just below that, I'm going to change nv-sdl-hidpi from false to true. So this should automatically be set at true, but for some people it might not be. So just in case, make sure that it is indeed true. And then the last thing I'm going to change is nv-def dash window dash size and for this one you want to change these existing numbers right over here to your screen resolution so because my screen resolution is 1920 by 1080 i'm gonna put those numbers in right now so before you click save or anything make sure that you have geforce now closed and then click Control s or what you can do is click file and then click save so now that we've saved the file Simply open up the GeForce Now app again. And it may take a bit longer to load in as you have modified the actual settings of GeForce Now. And what you want to do here is click on menu now. Click on settings. And then scroll all the way down until you see direct mouse input. Minimizes mouse latency during gameplay. This can cause irregular keyboard and mouse behavior on some systems and this setting will take effect the next time you launch a game. For the most part, it does help reduce input delay to a minimum, but it can actually make the delay worse on some systems. So make sure to turn it on if it's not on already and then run a game to see the difference in delay. So now in this part of the video, I'm just going to be mentioning a few general tips that will help you improve lag regardless of modifying anything. It's very simple. So one of the first things I would say is checking your internet connection and you can run a speed test to see how fast your network really is. And GeForce Now minimum requirements always require at least 15 megabits per second for 720p at 60 FPS and 25 megabits per second for 1080p at 60 FPS. If your bandwidth is lower than that, then you will definitely encounter many problems when gaming. Another thing I'd recommend is closing other applications and limiting traffic on your network. Running other applications on your device can consume resources and cause unnecessary lag on GeForce Now. So make sure you guys close any unnecessary applications like Chrome or even editing softwares as well. And this will help improve your performance. You should also limit other network traffic in your home while using GeForce Now, such as video streaming, downloading large files, or uploading files or photos. These can reduce your total available bandwidth. 
one of the staple things I recommend if you're having problems with GeForce Now is to restart the app and your session. Restarting the app can sometimes help resolve issues with lag. Close the app and reopen it to see if it helps. You can also try to reinstall GeForce Now as well to get the latest update of GeForce Now. GeForce Now often has updates that reduce overall latency and lag for their servers. So if you're gonna uninstall, make sure that you have direct mouse input enabled again by going into notepad obviously and changing the settings that I mentioned before as when you do reinstall GeForce Now completely, you will lose this setting here. So make sure that's turned on. And if you're still experiencing lag after trying the previous steps, you may want to try adjusting the graphic settings in GeForce Now so you can lower the resolution, frame rate, and other graphic settings and all of this can help improve performance on GeForce Now. So obviously in this menu setting here, it's going to be set on balanced and if you want the least amount of latency, then you guys can use competitive and it will give you a good advantage and reduce as much lag as possible. But the settings that I would recommend is to first change it to custom here and you're going to see this max bitrate slider here and you're going to click auto and change it to custom. So for this slider, I'd recommend putting it at 40 to 50 megabits per second, but ideally you should run a speed test and see how many megabits per second you have on your internet connection and do it there. So let's just say you had 25 megabits per second speed. You can set this to 25 over here. But for most people, I would say they have around 40 to 50. So I would just set it in between that number here. Then you're going to want to have to change the resolution from 1920 to 1080 and change it to either a 1600 by 900 or 1280 by 720. So I would recommend doing 1280 by 720 as I've seen that I've had the best experience on that when it comes to latency and lag in general. So just click that and you're just going to have to reset your max bitrate slider here. So just put it back between 40 and 50 and keep the FPS how it is and go to VSync here and turn that off. And finally, just make sure that adjust for poor network conditions is set on. And once you've done all of this, it should just save by itself. So just click menu games and then run the game that you want to run. And another thing I would recommend is using an Ethernet cable if possible. And using an Ethernet cable will have less latency and packet loss compared to Wi Fi. If you can't use an Ethernet cable, try connecting to your 5 GHz network instead of the 2.4 one. You will also have to move closer to your router if you do end up switching to 5 GHz, since network packets may need to be resent multiple times, which results in stutter. You can also try to restart your router and see if that improves anything to clear out the cache. And one of the best things I would say is disabling any firewalls that you have on and also making sure that all VPNs are turned off as VPNs can limit your bandwidth, but there are gaming centric VPNs as well. So if you guys do want a video on the best gaming VPNs for GeForce Now and other cloud streaming servers, I will make sure to make a video on that soon. And the last thing I would say is just to do a buffer blow test. And if you guys don't know what that is, I will leave a video in the top right that explains what it is exactly and how to do it and what it means. It will basically just give you a grade on how good your packet loss and your latency and your ping is. That'll help you determine if your internet connection is really good for GeForce Now or if it's bad for GeForce Now. And obviously, if you're continuing to experience lag after all of this, and you can contact NVIDIA support. They will provide further assistance to resolve any issues with lag on GeForce Now. And I'll leave a video in the top right on how to properly contact NVIDIA support to get the quickest response. So make sure to watch that. And one more thing that I want to mention is that I have made a membership page where you guys can join for only a dollar a month. And with this, you guys can join my Discord server where you can get help for your GeForce Now issues and automatically be entered to a monthly GeForce Now gift card giveaway. You will also get priority reply to comments and shoutouts too if you guys want. So make sure to join by clicking on the join button next to my channel or clicking the link in the description. And also I do have an ongoing GeForce Now gift card giveaway in general for all subscribers. So to enter make sure you guys like this video and subscribe. And then I want you guys to click on the video in the top right and watch that entire video seeing that you liked and subscribed. And once you've done that, make sure to comment on both videos saying that you subscribed and liked this video. At the end of the month, I will announce the winner of this giveaway and give them the free gift card. 
and also the more videos you watch and comment on the better your chances are so make sure to watch as many videos as possible anyways i hope this video helped if it did please leave a like and subscribe remember to join as a member for exclusive perks and make sure to join the geforce now gift card giveaway by liking and subscribing and writing in the comments that you did all these steps thanks for watching